Hello, secret agents. Welcome to Operation Love, day one. Hey, hey, and happy Random Acts of Kindness Day. We are so excited to do this mission with you guys. I'm Rosemary Watella Tromer. And I'm Sherry Riker Palou. And we're going to jump in and start with a poem. Today one is Secret Agents. With a love stamp, the woman I've never met mail me five dollars. To be a reminder that abundance can come unexpectedly, she wrote. And sitting with her letter in my lap, I thought of last night's snow. Five white inches that fell after midnight and softened the whole hard world. And I thought of the orchid on my mantle that sprouted a new stem of purple buds even as the other stem continued to bloom. And I thought of my office mate bringing in nine tins of exotic teas to share. And my daughter sending me a text to say she loved me so much. And I thought of a woman in a town a thousand miles away, a woman I have never met who thought, I think I'll send $5 to someone who brought abundance to my life. How simple it is to manifest unforeseen joy. How clear the invitation to extend gratitude, to spread goodwill, to remind each other how the world will offer itself, will open and open and open, how we ourselves are agents of the world. I love that poem, Rosemary. Okay, I wonder if people can guess what the prompt is. Ooh. One second to just let them mull that over. <laughs> are you ready, secret agents? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to jump into the flow of abundance. Today, think about someone who has brought abundance into your life. Write that person a note, letting them know a few specific details about the impact that they've had on you. You can use the printable that we've created. You can use a store-bought greeting card, a handmade note card. You can just use a plain old piece of paper. Whatever you want, make it easy. And then you're gonna include a $5 bill, or it could be a $1 bill, or a $100 bill, or a $2 bill. It could be anything you want in your card. You're gonna put it in an envelope, and you can draw a smiley face on the envelope if you want. You know, if you have any stickers or paints or stencils, or just a plain envelope. And then you're gonna put the card in the mail today. Don't wait. What happens if we wait, Rosemary, do you know? You don't do it. It just doesn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> you and have it, really good intentions. <laughs> and then you forget about it. Exactly, it sits there on your shelf. <laughs> also, because you're a secret agent, it will just self-destruct. So that <laughs> Option two, if, you don't have a mailbox near you or a post office near you, or if it feels too hard, you don't want to do that, tuck the note in a place that person will find it later. It could be in their purse or a book on their desk, somewhere where they're going to find it as a surprise. And then report back. We want to know, how did the mission go? Who did you write to? Was it easy? Was it hard? What abundance did that person bring into your life? Share a few things. We'd love to hear that. How did you choose what to send them or what you had to say? Post in the comments under where this video is so that everybody's responses are together and we'll have a chance to really get to see like what everybody did and what it felt like and what happened and how your random acts of kindness day went today. I can't wait. I can't wait to read what people have done. I can't wait. Thank you, secret agents. Thank your you, secret agents. It's very important. <laughs> we'll be back to see you tomorrow. Right, Rosemary? That's for sure. The world is depending on you. Okay. Goodbye, secret agents.